Hello, this video is about how to install SIGWIN with SSH or Secure Shell in Windows 7. SIGWIN is a Unix-like environment and command line interface for Microsoft Windows. SSH allows you to use Secure Shell on a Windows machine to connect to a Linux computer. So the outcomes for this video would be to download SIGWIN, to install SIGWIN with Secure Shell. SIGWIN only installs a minimal base packages. You can choose additional packages such as SSH when installing SIGWIN and verify SIGWIN works by using SSH to connect to an Ubuntu server. Requirements, internet connection, Windows machine with administrative privileges. This video uses Windows 7. Linux machine with SSH server running on the same network. This video uses Ubuntu 14.04, additional info at the SIGWIN project page, and I've included disclaimer. While I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it'll work with all combinations of hardware and software out there, so this is a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. Here I am at the SIGWIN site, and you can get more information about SIGWIN right here, but basically it's a large collection of GNU and open source tools which provide functionality similar to a Linux distribution on Windows. So I'm going to go up here and go to install SIGWIN. And I've got a 32-bit. There's a different installer for 32-bit and 64-bit. And one thing you need to know is when installing packages for the first time setup.exe does not install every package. Only the minimal base packages from SIGWIN distribution are installed by default. So basically I'm going to have to choose SSH if I want to install SSH. So now to download the 32-bit because I'm using a 32-bit Windows 7. You go down here to the bottom you want to run or save it. I'm going to click on save. Runs a little security scan. Okay, that's all it takes to download it. I'll verify that the download is okay. In my case, it's all downloads go to a downloads directory on the C disk. And there it is. Now that SIGWIN is downloaded, next step is going to be install it. Just go to wherever you downloaded it. Right click. You can open or run as administrator. I'm just going to click run as administrator and the UAC user access control comes up. I'm going to click yes on it. And SIGWIN setup comes up. I'm going to just click next. Install from internet. I could download without installing. But I'll just install from the internet here. Click next. And I'm going to let it go take all the default settings for all users and in the root directory C SIGWIN. Click Next. It takes it to C Downloads or wherever your default is on Internet Explorer. Click Next. Direct Connection. Click Next. And I'm going to try this SIGWIN mirror as the download choice. Click Next. And here I get to select packages. Now because I want to install SSH, I'm going to go down here to the net package and open that up. And you'll notice that all these packages are skipped and you can check and see exactly what you want to install on Windows. And then I'm going to scroll down here to open SSH. It's all alphabetical. and it's right here and then I'm just going to click right here click over here where it says skip and then have this little X if this downloads the binary if you want to have the source it'd be over here you pick whatever packages you want to install and that's the only one I'm installing here click next and it asks for additional packages you need to install or dependencies for SSH, BZIP, 
CA certificates, crypt, etc. And I'm just going to click next here, accept them all, let it do its work. Now we're not going to watch it, but hopefully I can show you that at the end it actually does a checksum on the files it downloads. Here it is, SHA-512 for the downloaded files. And now it goes into installing. Now you get two choices, whether you want to have an icon on desktop or add an icon to start menu. In my case, I'll just add the icon to the start menu and click finish. Close this and go down here and there's a SIGWIN terminal. Now it's installed. And if you'll notice one thing here, I'll do a list, that you're not in your home directory from Windows, but SIGWIN creates a separate Linux-like directory for you. In the next section, I will SSH into an Ubuntu machine. Now here I have a Windows machine running SIGWIN and Ubuntu machine showing up on the desktop. Before I can do an SSH from the Windows machine to the Ubuntu machine, I'm going to have to find out the IP address of the Ubuntu machine. And the way to do that is make sure I'm focused in that window and then do a Control Alt T, do an IF config, spell that correctly, and the IP address of the Ubuntu machine is 192.168.1.22. So now I'll go over to the Windows machine and I'll do an SSH, put in the username at 192.168.1.22, hit enter and you'll get a message the first time you log on to an Ubuntu host. I need to remind everybody that the Ubuntu machine had to have SSH server installed. SSH server does not come installed on Ubuntu desktops by default, but it's real easy to install from the software center. And the first message you get on the first login is the authenticity of host blah 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 can't be established. And it asks either a yes or a no. You'll only see this message on the first time. So we'll go a yes and now it asks for a password. So now I'm in the Ubuntu machine to verify this. Let's do an ls a list and you'll notice that this typical Linux setting and if and if I want to do any further checks I can do a cat etc star dash release and that tells me I'm on an Ubuntu distributor ID Ubuntu if I want to find out the kernel version you name dash a and I find out that I'm in a Linux kernel 3.13.066 and let me log out and close the SIGWIN shell. And that's pretty much it for installing SIGWIN and SSH into a Windows machine so you can use it to network into a Linux computer. Thank you.